Hey, hey, what is shaking, homies? Today I got a sick new version of the Duncan Windrunner. This is the Windrunner 7068. It's really sick for both 1A and 5A. So, uh, if you're interested, let's go over there. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so here is the box. And you might have remembered last year I reviewed the regular Windrunner, which is about two years old now. And this is the Windrunner. 7068. So they redesigned it after the yo-yo being two years old. They decided it was probably their best selling budget metal yo-yo, so they wanted to revamp it. Uh, here I got it straight from the horse's mouth on Duncan's website. So we can uh, share this. Is, the Windrunner is our best selling budget metal yo-yo. After nearly two years of collecting suggestions from our beloved fans, we present to you the Windrunner 7068. The upgraded aluminum makes it feel like that luxury type of yo-yo, floaty feeling that rails on combos and spin time that lasts longer than anyone could possibly need. We also made the axle longer um, to make it extra durable for you. This is the yo-yo you want to add to your collection. Okay, so um, really cool. That's right from Duncan. So a redesign of a classic yo-yo. Now the Windrunner, um, what I really like about it is it's got like, it's almost like two, it's got a lot of extra whim rate just the way that they made that shape there. And it's really unique and cool looking to this yo-yo. There's not a lot of yo-yos you see like that. Okay, uh, there's a string in this thing too. I never, I always forget to show that. There's always a string in, the, in here. See, it's all in the ground. And it's cool because there's like a pattern on the inside with yo-yos. But yeah, comes with a yellow polyester string, but uh, Let's not care about that right now. Okay, so it does have the finger spin nibble. It's got the nice anno of, let me focus here. Huh? Okay, let's, let's zoom in a bit. Okay, and you can see it says 7068 here. We got the classic Windrunner logo with the, the sneaker with the flying wings on it. Um, then Duncan Windrunner, nothing really to that. Looks really, really nice. That's just from my hands being sweaty. Really, really nice. Kind of like your classic V shape. Um, on the probably, you know, this is pretty much the standard competition size as far as the diameter. Um, the width, about a normal width, I'd say. But yeah, if you want like a budget yo yo that, you know, can handle, that you want to, you know, maybe come compete with or something, you can't afford to buy metal, this is definitely a good option. It's right in that price range. Okay, so, yeah, I remember the original Windrunner, the axle barely, like, went past the bearing. Here we got a nice clearance here. We got this nice step up, the red Duncan pads, concave bearing. Spinning nice, you can hear that in the microphone. Yeah, but just that classic shape, it's almost like... Like for a Magic Yo-Yo, we have a you know, similar shape, but totally, actually, not really at all. Just the, the profile is kind of like the N12, except it's it's more slimmed out. This is this is more slimmed out, more angular. Uh, also, too, these cuts here are completely different. That one doesn't have a fingerspin cup. Um, but it reminds me of my hand a lot like that Yo-Yo, you know, just almost more, you know, more, more luxury feeling. It feels in my hand really nice. Like, it feels like a high-quality Yo-Yo. You know. I like the width. It's like... Perfect. I don't know if I already put the specs on the screen, but if not, there they are. Uh, let me zoom out. Whoop. Um, but yeah, really, really nice feeling. Fits in my hand good. Looks like I'll be able to do um, all the types of grinds with it. It's got a really nice bead blast to it. And uh, I really like this green color. So, Brian Jarden sent me over this, and today's my birthday, so sick birthday present to me, huh? So let's go play with it. All right, guys, let's do a little 1A, then we'll bust out some 5A. So. Um, first things first, let's just do some of the classics, like the Eli Hops, a couple whip tricks, all that good stuff. Definitely like powerful, but still light feeling. Binds felt real good there. Oh, he uses the red pads. I forgot, the Duncan red pads are like the best pads in all of yo-yoing. They're just like that red RTV silicone we used to use back in the day. 
on our hitmans and stuff. And uh, yeah, I use thick string and it doesn't snag on tricks like this, but when I want it to bind, like it'll bind every time. Oops. Yeah, really, really long spinning. Let's uh, check out that grind finish. Grind finish is really nice. Tied my finger in a knot there. Let me adjust my string tension. We'll try a finger spin. Oh, finger spins. Really nice. That, I mean, it's literally like a perfect cup right there. Thumb grinds should be just as easy. Yep, very easy. But just a real fun yo-yo. Um, this is like definitely, you want a competition yo-yo, but you only got so much money. <laughs> this thing's freaking good. Like, it, like it is. That's what it is. Um, it's funny because the last yo-yo I reviewed from Duncan was like the opposite end of the spectrum. It actually, it was a well, it was a bimetal yo-yo, but it actually wasn't even that expensive. It was like not that much. Um, so here, let's do a little five-a with it because the great thing about a yo-yo like this is it's not that expensive, so you can do 5 it with it, smash some dice into it, drop it on the floor, whatever, but it's like, not that much. So, we're gonna do that. Okay, so I got a couple dice here. And I can just tell you right now it's gonna be a great 5 a yeah. Yep. They weren't kidding. <laughs> it actually feels like amazing at 5 a Really long spinning, obviously, for 5A as well. <laughs> Hell yeah. And it's got that awesome grind finish. Check it out, it's still, whoa, still spinning. But like I said before, if you drop it, it's no big deal. Let me try that one more time. There we go. I usually never drop the area on that trick. Actually, I'm amazed the area didn't stop spinning. Yeah, you can really benefit uh, from the yo-yo being really long spinning, both for 1A uh, and 5A. Yeah, really nice. Let me try that again. I'm a little rusty on my double dice, if you can't tell. But we're making it happen here, guys. Um, yeah. But really, really, really fun yo-yo, both 1A and 5A. And uh, if you drop it on the floor like me, no big deal. Not that expensive. So, um, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. And uh, if you're watching this the day it airs, today is my birthday, not to say that too much, but, uh, you know, do my, give me a present. Smash that like button. Hit the, thumb, yeah, hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment. That's how my videos get more views. If they like, if they do that, YouTube will pump them out more. So everybody leave a comment, even if it's something stupid. Uh, drop a thumbs up, and, uh, and that can be your birthday present to me. So thank you guys so much for watching. If it wasn't for you guys, I wouldn't make these videos. Uh, thanks to Brian for hooking it up with the sweet birthday present. You're the man. Let me know when your birthday is. Maybe I'll send you a hot diggity. And uh, yeah, until next time, I'll see you later.